Talking about Trump. All right, we can, this is a good transition. Talking about Trump. Um, today, uh, President Trump signed four, four uh, executive orders dealing with drug prices. You know. uh, none of which, by the way, liberated the market for drug prices. None of which um, reduced government involvement in drug prices. None of which uh, involved freeing up the market for drug prices. There we go. See, TDS, because I mentioned drug, I mentioned, I mentioned drugs. I mentioned Trump. It's TDS. TDS time, guys. The anti-concept of TDS and all the people who love to flaunt it, uh, uh, flaunt it, whatever, right? Um, go read, the, go read the, the executive orders. Don't have to believe me. Um, basically, uh, Trump is advocating for the same drug pricing measures that are in Joe Biden's platform. You can check that out. You can read Joe Biden's platform about drug prices, and you can pay what he wants to do when he gets elected with uh, what Trump has just done. Now, I, you know, executive orders like this, they don't get implemented immediately. It takes months, and they probably won't get implemented by the election. So either Trump will implement them in a second term, or they'll be implemented by Biden when he is president. But in any case, they have exactly the same policy on uh, drug prices. And it, it happened today. So just go see it, right? Or, or is that going to be offend your uh, Trump uh, lobotomy syndrome or whatever it's called? Um, number one in, um, in, uh, of the four, there were four, there were four of these, right? The first one was that uh, drug companies will be forced, 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 forced. No, but, you know, this is capitalism, right? We force drug companies to do stuff because we have a free market president. Uh, so dr drug companies will be forced to sell prescription drugs in the United States at the same price that they have negotiated with other countries. Now, other countries have socialized health systems. So they negotiate as a country because the, the, the socialist system negotiates to buy the drug. And other countries, the drug company has no choice. They use the coercive power of government to tell the drug company, you either sell it at this price or we won't buy it from you. Or even some countries go as far as to say, you sell it for us at this price or we will fund a generic. Even if you've got it under patent, we will violate your patent. Sue us. Go sue Canada or sue the European Union. In other words, other countries use brute force, literally brute force, to negotiate drug prices with drug companies. Get, guess what? They get the drug cheap. But the drug company still has to make money. And it still has to fund the R&D. So in the one country where we still don't believe in using force, I emphasize force, but you know, don't pay attention to me because I've just got uh, Trump derangement syndrome. Oh, so now it's not Trump's fault for uh, sucking up to the electorate. Oh, okay, I get it. So, so you believe now politicians should just suck up to the electorate. They, they shouldn't be, they, I mean, let's just listen to yourselves. They shouldn't be leaders. They shouldn't try to guide the country in the direction of, on which they were supposedly elected on, you know, of, of free markets, let's say, of pro capitalist But they should just, the electorate wants the government to control and force pricing on drug companies. They should just do it. And you will continue to worship a president like that. So that's beyond criticism. So to criticize Trump for doing something clearly wrong, anti-free market, anti-capitalism, anti-American, because the people want it, that's Trump's derangement syndrome. And, 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 and you think it's not an anti-concept that is just used to smear, to smear people like the, me who are objective, um, objective critics of President Trump 
I mean, you guys are just, thank you, Philosopher K, you're just providing the evidence every time you open your mouth on how, um, how nutty you guys are. He should really drop the philosopher because based on his commentary, this philosophy is very remote from anything he holds. I'm not measuring Trump against an objectivist. I'm tr measuring Trump the way I would measure any president based on the role of government. I'm measuring Trump on the same standard I measured Obama, on the same standard I measured Clinton and Bush, and I will measure whoever comes after uh, Trump. I am measuring Trump on the basis of should government be doing this? Is this the role of government by any standard? But I, I, I didn't measure Obama by the standard of objectivism. I, never, I measured him by the standard of the role of government, the principles on which this country was founded. And if you say, yeah, okay, you know, he violates our rights when it comes to drugs. He violates our rights when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the stimulus package. He violates our rights when it comes to a million other things. But he's the best we have. Fine. You know, you can vote for whoever you want. You can support whoever you want. But my job as a cultural commentator is to comment on what's going on in the world. And when a president does something that is anti-individual rights, anti-American, anti-capitalism, I comment on it. And it strikes me as bizarre that those of you who claim to be pro-free markets think I shouldn't. Wow, that's so weird. It's just, that's just weird. So... Um, we're going to be forced to pay the same price as Europe and Canada because we're the same as Europe and Canada, according to Trump and Biden, according to a majority. Now, there are people, by the way, in the Republican Party who oppose this, and this is why it hasn't become legislation. There are better people within the Republican Party who understand these kind of things and oppose this. And st but they can't stop an executive order, so the executive order is in place. Uh, what that will do is deny uh, drug companies from any ability to make money. It will deny drug companies the ability to do any R&D. It will kill the production and discovery of any new drugs and innovation because we are going to kill the last, the last country in the world that actually makes it possible for drug companies to make any money. This is, of course, all done through Medicare. It, so what it'll do is it'll raise your insurance costs. You, every one of you individuals. Insurance costs will go up. Why? Because Medicare will be paying Canada prices. But you as an individual will pay whatever the insurance company can negotiate with the drug company, which will be higher. And it'll be much higher because not only now will you have to be uh, subsidizing Europe and Canada, but you'll have to be subsidizing even more Medicare patients. Medicare, Medicaid and Medicare patients, government patients. You'll be subsidizing government health care. And all this does is it moves one step closer and one, you see, one step closer and one step closer to socialized medicine. So philosopher K says, but Trump has appointed conservatives to be tour judges, and, and he's better than Clinton. He didn't write that one. He, he supported good conservatives. Who cares? Am I talking about Supreme Court now? Did I tell you to hate Trump? Did I tell you not to vote for Trump? I'm just telling you what Trump did with drug prices today. And you guys f lose it. <laughs> lose it. And if that is not indicative that you have a problem, then I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Um, so, you know, it sucks. By the way, I find it curious that when I criticized Obama on Obamacare, nobody said, but he's not an objectivist. Of course they should do Obamacare. Well, what's the difference between Obamacare and the government now regulating the pricing of drugs? When Ayn Rand criticized Nixon for price controls, people didn't say, but Nixon isn't a, an objectivist. I mean, you guys are babies. All right, not you guys, just philosopher K. Um, anybody else who thought what he was thinking during that? That's, that's executive order number one. Executive order number two prevents drug companies from giving rebates to drug, 
to insurance companies. So insurance companies get these rebates that they can either pass on to you or not pass on to you. It's a complicated, convoluted system created by government regulation. And uh, somebody's going to do away with these rebates, which the drug companies like because they don't like this, but the insurance companies don't like. But the whole thing is a product of bizarre Byzantine regulations that we should get rid of that would free up, free up, the insurance companies and, and drug companies and healthcare industry generally to provide us with actually market services. But no, we don't want to move towards solutions that are capitalist because the voters don't want that, and God forbid we lead the voters. Instead, we're going to vote every, we're going to adopt everything in Biden's plank in order to appease the voters before an election. Okay. I mean, that, again, you can check to see if both of these features are not in Biden's plan. They, they are. Um, what were the other two? The other two, one was, um, one was to allow states, states, uh, to go out there as a state and buy drugs from a foreign country. So they can buy the state, let's say, of, of, of New York, can go and buy drugs from Canada at those cheaper prices that Canada has negotiated, and then the state, I guess, can use them in their Medicaid programs and whatever. Again, driving up your cost if you have private insurance. So it's, it's statism on steroids. I mean, it's bad enough the way we treat drug companies today. It's bad enough, bad enough that, uh, that, that, uh, Healthcare in this country has been socialized to the extent that it has. Now we have Republicans, not objectivists, Republicans, moving us towards greater and greater and greater statism. I've often said that we will get socialized medicine under Republican administration. And then um, the fourth executive order was about uh, health centers uh, are going to be forced, again, that word force to pass on negotiated discounts and insulin and EpiPens to patients. Again, we need government involvement for this. You wouldn't think that if we eliminated regulations, maybe these things would happen anyway because of markets. Maybe markets provide cheap, efficient solutions to products. But no, we need the force of government to force solutions on the markets. Just fine. Not an objectivist president. Just don't tell me he's a pro-markets president, pro-capitalism president, pro, you know, pro anything president. That's good. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you 
even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.